Welcome Yoji, here's your FMA Yoga or Frank and today we're going to see the last part of the Pava Muktasana Series 3, the group that helps to remove the energy block. Right? So before I start, as usual, I like to tell you the benefits of this practice. Today we're going to see five different techniques that help you to remove your energy block. This technique helps you to uh, tone the pelvic belt to remove frustration and improve your humor and improve the flexibility of your hip. It helps to improve the circulation of your leg and it removes constipation. So let's dive into the practice of today. For the first position we're going to see it calls chopping root. So this position we're going to see is going to be this is the position, okay? Right, so I'm gonna do from this, okay. So here we're going to um, simulate as we were chopping the wood, right? So we're going to get our X, we're going to lift the X and chop the wood, okay? So here the respiration is when we uh, lift the arms, we're going to inhale and when we are, we are about to chop the wood, I want you to exhale from your mouth and I want you to also um, pronounce the word HA. So we're going to inhale and when we exhale, we pronounce the word HA. HA! Okay? This is helps to improve your humor. It's a really nice uh, technique. I do, I do really like it personally speaking because um, if you really image to chop the wood, this gives you also kind of motivation, it releases all the tension. Uh, let's say you have a bad day and you want to chop some wood, this technique is really helpful for that. Okay, so let's do it. So we're going to do it between 5 and 10 repetitions, but because I really like this technique, I'm going to do it 10 times, alright? Let's get ready. Get your axe, inhale. Inhale, ha. Inhale, ha. Inhale, ha. Inhale, and that's and when you exhale, pronounce the word ha. Last one. <sighs> All right, so hopefully you enjoyed this position. I do really like it. All right, for the next position, we're going to see it calls salutation seal pose. And I'm going to show you from the side. It might be easier for you to practice. This time, I need you to place the whole feet on the ground, okay? So get your comfortable position from this. Okay, so I need you to place your elbow inside the knee and from here we're going to inhale and when we exhale we're going to place our head in between the arms, like that, okay? Here we're going to do it between 5 and 10 repetition, it's up to you, it depends how um, flexible he is your hip bone and if it's the first time you might struggle but you can do it between 5 and 10 repetition, okay? So. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And exhale. 
Good. Okay. So if you feel that your hip bone is a little bit of rest, as in mine, so get just in a sit comfortable seated position. Or if you feel that you need relaxation, total relaxation, you can spend a couple of minutes in Shavasana. Just pause the video and then go back on the practice. The next position it calls wind release pose. And here guys I need you to be to have a little bit of flexibility in your leg because we're going to place our palm underneath the feet. I'll show you. So this is the position. This is the final position, okay? So it starts like this. And when we exhale, we're going in this mode. Extending completely the leg if you can, of course, and trying to relax all the back, okay? We're gonna do it between five and 10 repetition again. And the respiration, we inhale, from this position and when we exhale we extend the leg. This asana is really good to massage all the muscles of your back and of your leg. Improve the circulation of your leg too. Alright, let's do that. Inhale and exhale. Inhale And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Last one, inhale and exhale. All right, we can go back in a seated pose. Just to feel a little bit of the effect of the practice in your body. In the meantime, get ready for the next position. The next position it calls crow walking. And here we need a little bit of space. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So the starting pose, it's this one. Place your hand on your, on your knees and I need you to walk in this way. How? So put one leg down, and the other feet goes in front, right? And again, and again. If you don't have any more space, just turn. Okay, this is the technique. Here, guys, there is no respiration, and you can do it for a limit of 50 repetitions. Okay, I'm just gonna show you a couple of them just to give you an idea of how is the technique is, okay? So, res the respiration is normal. Okay, right, this asana, and you might ask yourself, why Frank are you doing this? This asana is really good to prepare yourself for a meditative position because you improve the circulation in your leg and also like the muscles, of course. Okay, so for the last position of today's session, it calls abdominal twist pose. 
Okay, so I'm gonna show you. Right, so the base pose or the, the, the starting position is going this one, okay? Again, similar to the crow, walk, the crow walking. But this time we inhale from this position and when we exhale, we rotate, we bring it down. Oops. We bring it down one leg, okay? And we twist. And when we inhale again, we go back to the center. Okay, so we inhale, and when we exhale, we twist and back to the center. We're gonna do it between five and ten repetition again. All right, let's do that. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Keep your hands on your knee all the time and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. and exhale and exhale okay let's do it one more time inhale All right, guys. I feel I feel like a little bit tired, so let's get a little bit of relax in Shavasana. Place your palm facing the ceiling. Spread your leg a little bit and relax. Don't hold your breath. Just relax. Now let's take three deep breath together. Inhale. Hold your breath a little bit and exhale. One more. Inhale. And I take as much here as I can in my pulmon, in my chest, hold it, hold it, and exhale. One more guys, inhale, take as much air as you can, Hold it, hold your breath, and exhale. The practice is over, but if you want to stay in this position a little bit longer, that's fine. Feel the effect of this practice on your body. Yeah.